Hello guys, um, how are you? Welcome to another video. Um, in this uh, video, um, I will explain to you how you can create uh, some uh, realistic PBR textures in in Blender. Um, there are mainly two kinds of textures that uh, are the procedural textures and the image textures. Mm, during this tutorial, <clears throat> we are going to use image textures, um, but uh, I can explain to you what are the difference between uh, the two of them. Um, basically, uh, I have made a research on Wikipedia to, to find the, the, correct, the correct uh things uh, and the correct words to to explain to you uh, basically a procedural texture is a texture that is created using a mathematical description uh, for example uh, an algorithm uh, rather than directly stored data um, basically um, a procedural texture is uh, like uh, a vector of the textures you can create it and you don't have to be worried uh, about uh, the resolution that you need to render your scene uh, because they uh, are always uh, be good when you are using image textures um, you need to have um, a good quality uh, bitmap files uh, so that you can uh, render uh, a scene with uh, with good quality too. This is one advantage of procedural textures, um, but there are disadvantages too. Um, procedural textures sometimes can take a while to to create uh, because they are all created inside of the of the software. In this case, of Blender. Uh, and image textures, if you download it from one website, they are already done. So uh, it's quicker and it's much, much easier. Um, to start this tutorial, um, we need uh, to get a good uh, set of textures. Um, for me, uh, I have downloaded from this website texturehaven.com it is very very good uh, in quality and it is free there are other sites like polygon.com but um, polygon is you have to pay for the textures so for you if you are starting to make uh, some things in 3d uh, I should sure, surely advise you to use this one texture heaven Dot com. So let's start this tutorial. I have already here uh, the main scene of Blender. Um, let's uh, remove the cube because for this case we are going to use the plane. Uh, I think that it's easier for you to understand if we use the plane. So select the cube and press the X key or the delete key. Um, you have on the bottom right of the screen uh, my screencast keys. Uh, you, if you have any doubt during this tutorial, you can always see which keys am I am I typing or which mouse clicks am I clicking. Um, so let's move on. Uh, as I told you before, we need to create the plane. So Shift A to add a mesh and let's select the plane let's just scale it a little bit press S and scale it and now let's just move the light to the center of the plane mm. it's important that we keep the light so that we can see the effect on our textures let's just move it a little bit to the center press G and move it to the center okay press G let's move it down a little bit okay it is centered now 
and to create the textures uh, let's go to the shading tab it's easier because we have all of the tools that we need to create the textures here and for the plane let's create a new one so we need to click on this button here that says new I have already downloaded a texture from that site that I have told you I have downloaded uh, floor tiles which you can see here these tiles um, I have um, other files that uh, I have downloaded too so we are going to use some of them um, but first and to keep things simple let's just use this one um, usually uh, it is called the, the diffuse in this case <coughs> I'm sorry the name says diff so it's the diffuse uh, that basically is the color texture that we are going to use in Blender I have already created a new material a few seconds ago so to add the texture uh, we can use uh, drag and drop it's easy so let's go to the to the window drag and drop it to Blender when you create the new material um, by default um, it added the principle PHDF that is the, the main shader of Blender that is very very good I have already made a tutorial explain to you how this uh, shader works um, I will put um, the link of the video on the description um, we are not going to, to deeply go into this shader so if you want to do it uh, you can check that video um, and now that we have uh, here our image you just need to connect it to base color okay basically base color if you want to to create a texture is uh, where you can uh, define the color of the texture that we are going to use but for this case as we are going to use an, an image we need to connect the color to base color here and it have assumed our picture as the main texture um, we have now <coughs> our texture created but uh, as you can see uh, this is not uh, very real basically this is only uh, the our image uh, showing inside the plane so uh, now we need to, to add some details on it so that uh, we can make it uh, as real as possible um, these things that I will gonna explain to you work in cycles or Eevee that's not a problem so I will gonna show you in Eevee and cycles okay but first uh, let me just click here uh, so that uh, we can see our rendered scene okay you click here on this bottom on the right uh, where it says method rendered um, now um, the next thing that uh, I want to explain to you um, is uh, the ruggedness okay uh, we have surfaces that are very ruggedness and we have surfaces that are shiny we can control the ruggedness here okay if we reduce the ruggedness uh, our surface will gonna be very very shiny and if we increase the ruggedness our surface will not gonna be shine at all it will be a rug surface so um, we can control this using this uh, these, uh, these values here uh, but they are not realistic because not all the, the surfaces uh, reflect uh, the light uh, in, in, in the same way so basically here uh, this surface is reflecting uh, the light uh, in, in the same way all along the texture that is not correct and for that we have another map here 
that says rough or roughness in depends that depends of the site where you download the texture um, if you click to open the texture it is uh, basically a, a vector map uh, it's uh, in uh, grayscale and uh, it says that where uh, where are white the surface will gonna be rough and where are blacks in this case there are no blacks so the surface will not gonna be very shiny but uh, where are blacks or where are darker colors are uh, the places where the light will gonna be most reflected so let's add this texture to blender here okay and now please uh, make sure that uh, you have here non-color because it's a non-color data this is only gonna tell us where the surface will gonna be shiny or not and let's collect, connect it to the redness here okay as you can see it have changed um, our surface is not uh, very shiny uh, as I told you before this is a floor and uh, you have seen on, on, the, on the texture that it has not uh, blacks so this is not a very uh, shiny surface but if you are using another texture uh, you will see the difference and you're gonna see how this works um, the next thing that uh, and a very very important thing that uh, I want to show you is uh, the normal maps uh, the normal maps uh, gives uh, that uh, bumpy effect to to our scene um, they have called uh, normal in this case uh, it just said norm uh, that will depend again from the site where you have downloaded so let's add it to our scene again it's a uh, non-color data okay if you open the, the picture uh, it is in this uh, blue purple color uh, because uh, um, this picture has only the purpose to, to tell which uh, to tell to blender how is it will gonna react uh, to to the light okay so these areas that are here on the dark will be the areas that are gonna be uh, will gonna have some bump effect I just need to show you but um, you can't connect uh, directly this map here to normal uh, before that you need to add another shader that will gonna make the conversion press shift a vector let's add a normal map and now we can connect color to color and normal to normal um, now probably you have noticed that we have already um, this little bump effect over here basically um, this is reacting uh, to to the light in in a different uh, way so uh, as i told you before this picture uh, has this this little uh, bumpy uh, effect or this little um, darker spots okay and these darker spots will gonna tell blender uh, how to react with light and give to us those uh, that uh, bumpy um, effect you can control the strength here okay more strength or less strength that is up to you and another thing that uh, sometimes uh, people use is a bump map uh, and this is um, a normal map uh, just tells how light will interact with the scene and uh, we can add a bump map that is here that will tell uh, blender where the surface are uh, bumpiness or or not let me just show you let's add another shader that is a bump 
let's place it here select our bump map that we have added and again it is a non-color data and let's connect it here to the height as you can see we have a major change it have created our bump on on the map it is not uh, very real uh, i think that we need to change some values here let's decrease the strength a little bit okay and now um, as you have seen um, in a couple of, of minutes we have created um, a realistic floor then the options that you use the strength etc etc it is up to you you should try it and uh, you should see um, what are the better ones for the result that you want we are using cycles and but if I change it to EV here as you can see it will work uh, like a chart um, I hope that um, you have uh, liked this tutorial um, if you like it please subscribe my channel uh, I hope to see you soon